In the aftermath of Paul and Karine Steele's huge fight where police were called, Paul announced that his wife was missing and asked fans for help. Karine is now speaking out, sharing that she's not missing at all, that she and Pierre are safe. I want you all to know that me and Pierre are doing well now, Karine writes on her Instagram stories. Over the past days, she acknowledges, I had a lot going on. Karine explains, as the media showed, I had issues where the police were called. Karine explained that the police were called to the home that she previously shared with Paul because they feared for my life and my son's life. She explains that it was this fear which led me to ask for help and ultimately be rescued. Karine expresses that she has been rescued from an environment that no longer was healthy for any of us involved in the situation. I'm getting the best help I could ever get, Karine assures her fans and followers. And I'm really thankful for all the people involved in it, she expresses. I also thank all the people that worry about me for the support I have had. It has been a big part of my recovery, Karine affirms. Relationships are hard and sometimes, she acknowledges, adding that in this case, it just can't be fixed anymore. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans have wanted this toxic marriage to end for a long, long time, for the sake of everyone involved. I need this time to organize my thoughts, work on myself and care for my son, Karin tells her followers. She explains that there is a lot to process after everything we have been through in the last year and a half. Remember, the footage currently airing on Happily Ever After Season 5 was recorded last year. Just to clarify, the EPO was me, Karen confirms for her followers. As you may have seen, Paul complained that the emergency protective order that Karen filed against him must have been filed by someone else. I had help from a translator, Karen adds, since I did not speak English. I also would like to state that I am not missing, Karen declares to her followers. Paul had asked for people's help in finding her, but as people know, helping to find a person who is not actually missing can put them in danger. She adds, the police know where to find me if they need me. This is a legal matter, not a media matter. That being said, it's the first and the last time I will speak about it, Karin states. That is absolutely her right. Though she is a public figure, she is not obligated to discuss this painful chapter of her life with anyone. She concludes her post, thank you all again, Karine. In addition to that, Karine clarified to her followers that she has not created any GoFundMe accounts. That means that if you see one in her name, until she says otherwise, it is a scam account created by a dreadful opportunist. A lot of 90 Day Fiancé fans want Karine and Pierre to be safe and would be happy to chip in if she would ask. On Saturday, August 1st, Karine filed for a restraining order against Paul. Paul showed off the police report on social media, a police report in which Karin accused him of multiple instances of abuse. He denied having abused her and urged his followers to help him to locate Karin. I know me and Karin have had many over the last four years. This is not a thing she would say, Paul claimed. In his Instagram story, he insisted that she would never say anything like this about me. Those claims are no longer holding up now that Karin has issued her statement. In the aftermath of this, people have come forward on social media to describe their alleged experiences with Paul. We all know about his criminal record, being accused of harassing an ex and of arson. It is claimed that he has demonstrated controlling behavior on a number of girlfriends and damaged property to get revenge when they left him. This is a complicated situation, in part because many fans fear that Karin is not up to the task of raising Pierre alone, but they don't want to see her in poverty with her family in Brazil or back with Paul. We hope that Karin and baby Pierre remain safe. This is a frightening situation and we hope that all future updates are positive ones. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.